How's it going guys? Ultra Scythe here, back with another Cutcom. Today I'm actually playing Phantom Forces for once. I don't know if I did a video yesterday. I'm already messed up on my videos. I probably did a CSGO video. I'm way too into those right now. But I'll be trying to play this game a little bit with the P90 right now. So I'm going to try going for clips. But just keep in mind, I'm on my laptop that isn't the best. And for some reason, just like running Phantom Forces alone will run my CPU at like 72% with like other tasks and everything. Just counting like total CPU. And I don't really have a graphics card or hardware on this computer so you know I, I can't use that to record and kind of just runs my cpu at 100 percent and my cpu is also running my integrated graphics and all that equals is oh my god your cpu is going to be running at 120 percent at about 2000 degrees celsius oh so many people over here oh my god i couldn't kill any of them spray and pray with this gun so hopefully like the video is not lagging for you guys. I can kind of see that on this computer my mouse has like uh, a delay of a few milliseconds. I don't even know but it just feels like about a tenth of a second delay that if I was playing CSGO I would die a ton. On my other desktop I don't have any of this so I, I can try fixing it. I don't, I don't know if it's an issue with anything but I've kind of noticed this before. It's just like a lot larger now. Whoa! Dude, this gun is the hip fire. Okay, dude. Uh, I can't deal with my mouse right now. <laughs> oh my god. So, I, I kind of used this gun because I was like, oh, it's going to be easy to play on my laptop with it. But, um, it feels like it's harder actually to do this. What the heck? Why? 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 $1,000 laptop gods. Just. Why? Why would you even do this to me? Just don't even put like a video card, a tiny video card or anything in this laptop. I don't even know. But they decided no video card, 4K touchscreen. It works out great. Another thing that I have noticed when I'm recording on this laptop is every time I click my mouse, it, it actually sounds like someone is shooting a gun. Just because on this computer, I have really nice audio quality. My, I have a Blue Yeti. It just picks up just about everything that's happening in my room. So if any of like my siblings, parents walk by my room, it's just like, oh, oh, I'm going to have to put my audio down a little bit so no one hears anything. It just kind of gets really annoying after a while. But now that I have like professional editing software on all my computers, you know, I, I run Premiere Pro if you didn't know, but it's a really nice professional editing software so I can make my MLG montages look better. You know, we gotta have our like Mountain Dew and Doritos blowing up in the corner going against like, I don't know, Skrillex holding on. Now that Phantom Forces seems to be just like submitting any single video that goes to YouTube, um, I guess I'm just gonna be making a montage with the M60, alright guys? Um, I may actually make an MLG montage now. I don't even know. It just, it seems fun to me now. I, I could just use, like, kills from this video and literally make a montage. It, that would just be fun. Like, to me, that would just be actually fun. I can do something that would be work. But then I'd be listening to dubstep and spinning bags of Doritos. Yes. Bring him here. And if you guys know, like, Ramim or anything during my streams or some of my Apoc videos, and you know about his trashy mic, well, he may be upgrading his internet and or his computer. So, yeah, um, we, we won't have this problem anymore with him sounding like, uh, I don't know, he, he sounds trash. That's about all I can say. Oh, we actually ran out of ammo spraying and praying. This is, this is actually nice right now. Come on, guys. Come on. Just come at me. And I also hope you guys like my, like, Cutcom style of video. I've been doing this for a while uh, now, and I think you guys are truly liking it. But my videos aren't getting, like, that much popular since Phantom Forces. It wasn't milk when I started making Phantom Forces videos, a, like, a long time ago. Like, Synthesize with you. Probably about the only person you see doing it. Um... No, that was in the back. Synthesizer G. He 
you probably didn't know about him back then. That was like the um, savage gaming, I don't know, casual gamer dude who now everybody in the community hates. Ooh, the olden days. I think I watched about five videos and then I was like a fan because he was the only good player of Phantom Forces I ever knew um, around that time. And then I saw Siren burst in a lobby and was rethought my life. I'm now thinking about to the like one month vacation I took during the summer and I didn't really upload much during the summer. And the first month of the summer is when people started getting big off Phantom Forces and if I only uploaded then and learned how to edit my videos as well as Paradox Pokey which would have taken like three years. Um, then I probably would have done maybe a little bit better, you know. Except, you know, um, I'm ultra size. I, I, I can't really spend enough effort doing my videos back then. 10 minutes, not even slap an intro on those things. Um, I used to, my first video ever, I don't even think I had commentary on it. Oh, yes, those good old days for sure. Just uploading gameplays that actually sucked. Fanta and I would title them Roblox Phantom Forces number one. That was the title of the freaking video. They were great. Absolutely no thumbnail, no tags, no description. Or I may have had a description actually. But it was, um, yeah, I don't want to talk about it anymore. And there's also a kind of YouTube personality that YouTubers kind of develop on their own. Because us YouTubers were, um, tend to be introverted, um, people who never come out of the room, so we really don't know how to socialize with anybody other than our precious microphones. So you kind of have to de develop, like, a personality for yourself when you do YouTube, I guess. But, yeah, so, like, this is my personality. I've actually been trying to work on it, but I, I don't know. Um, it's more of a social personality now that I'm demonstrating at school and people are finding out that it, it, it's quite annoying, actually. And if you've seen my Phantom Forces videos, I edit it so much that you'll see two maps in my gameplay half the time. Maybe even less or more. I have really no idea, but sometimes, sometimes you'll see two maps if I edit it well. Um, and I also don't have a lot of time lately, just so you guys know, it's kind of like an update thing. Um, I'm in a hockey league, but not regular hockey. I play hockey on inline skates, and that's because I like rollerblades and stuff like that. So, yeah, I play hockey, and that kind of uses up like an hour uh, the two hours um, some days of the week. So, yeah, I, I, it, it takes a lot away from recording because that time I'll usually be editing or recording, making a thumbnail, doing YouTuber stuff, you know? being introverted and finding ways to socialize with a microphone and not being able to look at anybody. Just thinking about the days when Petrify was giving me a shout out on PFCC and now he do he probably doesn't even remember me. Like I had so many viewers, so many new subscribers I could have done so much with if I made a great impression. Then I just started making monotone gameplays that weren't even good that I thought were good at the time and now I'm like, oh. And in about, I don't know, three months, I'm going to look at this video and be like, oh, what was my editing style right here? I didn't even make it like an MLG montage. What was I doing? I feel like this is an issue with pretty much all YouTubers. All YouTubers want to make their videos just as great as they can. They take PewDiePie, for example. He, like, initially did, like, gameplays um, where they were low to... I don't know, none too little editing from what I remember from when I first started watching him, which wasn't when he started his channel. No, I started watching him um, a lot later, like maybe 20 million subs. So yeah, he was still doing gameplays back then and he kind of actually edited them, stuff like that. Now he just makes videos reacting to stuff with clickbaity titles and that's the only way to get views on YouTube. You can't do this gameplay stuff anymore. And if you want a personality now, you have to do a face cam so everybody can see my acne riddled face. Or even be better. I remember when I used to do face cam, if you probably haven't seen any videos, I think I released one stream with face cam that may still be out. I don't know if I deleted it or anything, but yeah. Um, you probably don't want to see that anyways. I just realized I have a 6KDR and I'm playing on a laptop and now my voice is really hurting for some reason. And if you guys ever start doing YouTube, you gotta find out ways to come up with stuff to talk about for 10 minutes. 
that can actually entertain people and you'll know what I have to go through on a daily basis. Like, Ooh, rank 107. Look at this skill, boys. Now I just gotta solve the issue. Should I act like I'm depressed all the time? Or should I act like I'm enthusiastic? Or should I act like um, I'm trying to continuously critique people? I have no idea, but I, I like critiquing people and I like acting depressed. Um, there is no funny. That's, that's, that's kind of too extreme for me. When you learn that you, you wasted 35 bullets just trying to kill one person. And you, you barely even did it. Um, I've already wrecked my KDR. Ha! I once tried starting a clan called Rex spelled R3CT. It was gonna be so MLG. It was gonna be awesome. It was gonna be like FaZe, but for Roblox. And do you know what I discovered about a month later? Which, this is probably a month after I did my, um... I don't know, uh, first video. I discovered Paradox Clan and Paradox Poke. This is before Paradox Clan even had 1k subscribers and Paradox Poke I think was about 1k 200 and something. I really don't know the exact amounts for the time but ooh, now he has like 30k and I haven't grown at all but he is actually a great YouTuber. He edits his videos so much more than Petrify. Yeah, let's go with that. Petrify, if, if you ever watch my video, um, Unless you're like doing a gameplay with other people, which I can understand if you don't know how to edit gameplays with other people. Because you're continuously talking, trying to make small talk and everything with the other person you're doing your video with. But you understand, if you're doing a video by yourself just talking. Um, I've learned that cut comms are so much better than do. They're just so much entertaining and they give you time to actually think about what you're going to say. And like two seconds before you say it and then you just cut that part out and bam. You got a 10 minute video and if you didn't get enough. It's a smooth transition and you can continue recording again. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So please like and subscribe. Peace.